I'm excited today because not since on my channel, which has been a while now, since three days grace the mountain have I waited for a rock song and Black Veil Brides have just come out with Born Again. In a couple of days it's amassed thousands of views, it always does, because they have millions of fans around the world that support their music and have done for years. I came into Black Veil Brides last year, early last year, and I have never looked back. I've been a huge avid fan. Why I haven't reacted so much on my channel to them then is because of blockages. They continuously get blocked on my channel for up to a month. And when they release a new single and then they're blocked for a month, it almost like takes the enthusiasm away from your reaction because you're a month later after everybody else. So hopefully this time it'll be a okay, but privately I'm listening to them a lot and I know a lot about them. But Black Veil Brides have come out with Born Again. What is Born Again about? Done my research. Born Again immediately following the conclusion of the sold out Trinity of Territor across America and the band unveils the cinematic clip for Born Again, the fourth single from their latest album, The Phantom Tomorrow, even though it's track number three on, on the album. It's helmed by a feature film and a music video director, Vincent Coduro, Cradle of Filth, Devil Driver, David Hasselhoff, and produced in collaboration with the occult luxury streetwear masterminds MM Custom Fabrications. The evocative Born Again video arrives appropriately now, and it was launched appropriately on Friday the 13th. Now, this video was an opportunity to use the more macabre image, imagery we grew up loving as fans of the classic horror movies, explains Black Veil Bride's frontman and founder Annie Berserk whom, I have to say, is quite a man. It also offered a chance to further flesh out the immersed world of Phantom Tomorrow, told in the multiple companion mediums, including comic books, action figures, and of course, music videos. Now, what we show a bit of what goes on in the ninth circle, which is the location in our Phantom Tomorrow storyline that exists as a plane of existence outside reality, says Andy. It's more Zoric version of fire and brimstone afterlife, but one that is directly attacking your daily life. Produced by Eric Ron, The Phantom of Tomorrow gave the band their first top 10 hit on mainstream rock radio Scarlet Cross. Like that song or the group's gold certificate 2013 anthem in the end, Born Again, blends accessible hooks and sharp metaphors. I think all of us struggle with demons that hold us back or make it difficult to get through life as Sandy. The song and video are about that push and pull and how ultimately the battle is won, not by pretending these parts of ourselves don't exist, but by facing them head on. But saying, no matter what we struggle with or the fears and anxieties we experience, we can defeat them and be born again as the person we know ourselves to be in our hearts and mind. Now, there's more of that in the description below. There's a link actually to this video. That would be better. I'll put the link to this particular interview in the description below along with their musical links, links as always. And we will just get into the song. I have the lyrics in front of me. And as I said, I'm going to give you my interpretation of them straight after we listen to this rock epic and the latest from Black Veil Brides. Let's enjoy. Back to the beginning. Faith in the fighter lighting up the street, singing for the dead, confessing to the choir.
Now, that was worth playing, wasn't it? Doesn't that bring you to life? Black Veil Brides, Born Again, amazing. And I got a lot of images in my head. I'm gonna make a very special thumbnail for this particular video of mine to attract you to come in and listen to my reaction, plus listen to their music as well. It's been too long. It, they have survived during the pandemic like most people, but what they're about is a live band. What they do best is live. And as I've said on previous rock, reactions i used to be a scorpion fan and i used to absolutely go crazy for them and i loved them years ago because they were the lighter element of, of rock that we refer to now as symphonic rock and a lot of my friends just disbanded me because i was very much on my own like in this foreign scorpion band where they were all following acdc and i never followed them you know i never followed the crowd i always followed my instinct musically and I seem to come off better than it. They followed a very sadistic, I felt, satanistic, lyrical type of band that at times just left you go, wow. And, and I didn't want that. I don't know which one, which band and, and other rock bands like Black Sabbath and others they followed. And there was one particular rock element i'll just finish up by saying that if you played it backwards you could hear the devil's voice so you know they were all into all of those bands but i followed them and not since black veil brides have i sat back and went yay now i also like three days grace and i also like the mountain i'm attaching attaching it to this to give you double helpings of good rock music but let's get back to black veil brides whom are they for all the ones that are still wondering? They're an American rock based in Hollywood, California. The group formed in 2006 in Cincinnati, Ohio, and is currently composed of lead vocalist Andy Berserk, rhythm guitarist and violinist Dinx, lead guitarist Jake Pitts, drummer Christian C.C. Kimer, and bassist Loni Eagleton. Black Veil Brides are known to use their black makeup, body paint, tight black studded clothing, and long hair, which were all inspired by the stage personas of Kiss, Motley Crue and others in the 1980s glam metal acts. Please don't change your attire. It's good to look at lads. That's all I'm going to say, especially on Andy. But that's only because he's a particular favorite of mine because he's lead vocalist and I think his vocals are absolutely amazing. But that's another story in itself. But we get back on to the lyrics. What do we get out of these lyrics to this particular song? It starts, the faith and fighter lighting up the streets, singing for the damned, confessing to the choir, bury every beast and we are born again. The blood runs over me, it continues in first one, but not the cavalry. I'm alone in everything I see, do you believe? The thunder sounds, I hear the call, the underground is the fire below my enemies, and I can never seem to get up to find the hope. So what we're talking about here is, we often hear about issues that affect your heart, but nothing that affects your soul. And sometimes you need to light that furnace that we often heard about, the soul fire. We see it in films, we see it, we read about it in songs, but it does exist within yourself. Deeper than the heart is the pit of your stomach, and in that pit of the stomach is believed to be your soul. And to light that, to get over anxieties and worries and different things, you've got to bring that bit of beast inside you, out of you, to fight if this makes sense, the demons that are out there that are worrying you and keeping your emotions so pit to your stomach. So that's what that's about. The chorus goes on, the faith and fighter lighting up the streets, singing for the dam, confessing to the choir, bury every beast and we are born again. Well, that's not true in life. If we bury every beast and every worry and every upset, what we're gonna make ourselves is ill mentally and physically. And that's what happens to a lot of people. They turn to drugs, turn to drink, and it's all excuses. It's excuses for weaknesses. Because what the, the what goes on in our head sometimes just makes us crazy. Only if you allow it. If you allow it, it can and it will, instead of it cannot and it will not. And you don't change it from one to another. Of course it can. And if you say I'm a weak person, you're only weak in the way you speak. It, you know, your ears hear what your voice says. So if you say out loud, I'm a weak person, and you blame the world, and you don't sort your, your problems out, you're singing for the damned. Your, your, your voice is like this endless choir of screaking that people don't want to hear. So if you're going to be born again, you've got to light that furnace. Verse 2. 
terror that you see is only misery. It's harder to, it's getting hard to listen or, or agree when they just deceive. The thunder sounds and I hear the call. The underground is a fire below my enemies. The underground being the soul that you've lit, that, that fire that you've lit again below your heart, what your heart feels, your mind feels, all of that, your emotions. But beneath that is your soul. When that's lit, that's your enemies can't reach that. Only you, because you've pushed your emotions so far into the pit of your stomach. Only you can reach them. And like that, to live again. So that's what it talks about below the enemies. They can't see that. That's inside of you. And I can never seem to get to find up the hope. Hope comes from believing that you exist for a reason. That you're not dead. You're here. You breathe every day. Here's an example of you want a, you want a reason to live? Go into a hospital in a children's ward and look at the children who are dying. Just look at them in the ward fighting for their lives. And their parents are their voices and they have no voice when you are voiceless you have an excuse when you're not and you're an adult you have no excuse to fight for your life when you're born into this world for a reason we don't know what that reason is but we do and you've just got to light the fire get rid of the demons fight the evil thoughts and, and the processes it says in the video and just get going with life post chorus so we look beyond the curtain take on your burden we will stand and fight with you what you're wondering who will stand and fight with you can you believe it's your own worst enemy inside your head that will fight for you when you turn it around they become your best friend you have to be in that situation to understand it hopefully you'll never be in that situation and finally the course is the faith and fight to light up the streets singing for the damn confessing to the choir bury every reason we're born again it finishes with that and it's very very true and a very powerful message to get through to people that a choir is your you're crying to the world oh she's to blame he's to blame life is to blame but never turning around looking at yourself saying i'm to blame i've allowed this to happen i've allowed people to walk and be spitting me walking me all my life if you want those demons inside and you want to fight a situation get out of debt and do certain things go and talk to people sit in front of somebody who's knowledgeable and say help me here i'm really desperate everybody will always say yes it's not always about money you've got wonderful social services and you've got wonderful places citizens advice that for free there's lots of freebies out there just grab them and see which is can help you and when you're in a position you get financially back that's how it works so confess to that quiet that inner screaming inside yourself and stop it and bury every beast and doubt about life and about what's going to happen to you and believe that you're here for a reason if not do take it a walk in that water of children who are fighting to be here every day and some don't don't make it but you've got a reason because if you do find that reason you're born again as the song says so that is my absolute epitome of what this song's about thank you black veil brides thank you for the music born again we are we've got a reason after the pandemic to get on with things again and hopefully pick ourselves up there is a war situation at the moment but it's safer to send prayers than to actively be involved verbally or any other way we can only send prayers we've enough after a pandemic to keep fighting that fire stoking that fire for ourselves we need to put that energy into us selfishly as it sounds sometimes you've got to be selfish to rise above it think about that as well i wish you all well thanks for listening